Hey guys, it's Ian with Real Bermuda. Um, today I'm going to give the lawn a mow and then we're going to spray some uh, plant growth regulator. Um, the seed heads are really bad this year and I was hoping to hold out on uh, plant growth regulator for like another week or two until I can get the backyard um, leveled. But it's just so bad. Like I'm cutting basically every 48 hours right now and they are thick seed heads I'll put some footage up so you can see what I'm talking about um, I mean they'll be gone in a few weeks but the plant growth regulator will pretty much knock them right out like last year it really helped a lot now it does seem like I'm having more seed heads this year than last year but so I'm gonna be using is Permaxis um, I used this last year this 8 ounce bottle is about 60 bucks but the rate for residential turf is 0.38 ounces per 1,000. Um, <clears throat> I go at an even lower rate because the golf course rating or fairway rating um, is a quarter of an ounce per 1,000. So I um, split my treatments up into two treatments. So I really should do like an ounce for one full treatment <clears throat> for my 4,500 square feet. And even that would be a little bit lower of a of an application um, than bottle rate. But I split them up and do them in like two to three weeks apart. It just kind of depends on the weather. And you can calculate it with growing degree days and all that. But I kind of just visually um, decide when I need to, to do another um, application. So I split it up and I'll do a half ounce over my full like 4,500 square feet. So <clears throat> it's not a lot of product that you're using out of this, I mean, this eight ounces or was it eight or 16? I think this is 16 ounces actually. It doesn't say it on here. Anyways, this will last me for probably two or three seasons realistically. So um, I used it three or four times last year and then you know, that got me through the, the summer where I wasn't having to mow at like every two days. Right now I'm at every two days. So if I can cut it back to every four days, that's pretty nice. Even, even every three days would be nice. So mow three eighths and then an application of PGR. All right. I just adjusted the height of cut down to three eighths of an inch. Um, Oh, come on. Oh, whatever. Um, let's see, I think she needs some. Yeah, buddy. Give her a little motion lotion here. And then we'll be in business. And uh, a small tip or note. I filled this up in here. And I check my fuel every about three or four mows to know how much I've got left. So that way, if it's even close to a situation where I might run out, I can go ahead and fill it up in here. Last thing I want is for it to run out on the grass and then have to fill it up while it's over the grass. And in some areas I could easily pop it out of gear and roll it back some areas of my yard more slopes it'd be harder to do so so it's just better to go ahead and check it make sure it's filled up and ready to go or it at least has enough it doesn't have to be topped off but the last thing you want to try to do is pour the gas while it's sitting on an incline you know like on a slope out here or something and then up spilling some gas on your grass that's gonna gas on your grass is a big no no
got two gallons of water in there. <clears throat> if you don't know how to use this, like I didn't, when I first for starting out, you squeeze the bottle and that will push your liquid up into this whole reservoir. And then from here, you just pour it out of the reservoir. So already got my, my solution there or my uh, half ounce. Okay, so that's my half ounce, and then I'm gonna give it a little bit of a uh, a mix. And now let's finish it off. I'm gonna turn down my hose. This is full four, so I'm gonna turn it down to like just a trickle, so that I don't put too much air into this while I'm filling it up. All right, this should be good. Put a little on. Go wrap the hose up and then we'll get spraying. All right, let's start spraying. There's a, a slight, maybe like two to three mile hour breeze that comes through every now and then. Um, it's not consistent, so might have to pause here and there to keep uh, the product from blowing everywhere. But here we go. Get the air bubbles out. See that wind kicked up. Let's wait for it to die. Now, arguably, <clears throat> one of the best um, perks to doing this method. T -t 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 Today, Junior! <laughs> of only doing a half rate every three or so weeks instead of a full rate like once a month. So I'm really not worried about burning the lawn. Um, or bronzing it at all right now. And if you've ever done that with PGR, you know that can be annoying. So I can be nice and tight with my passes without having to worry about one area getting too much. Need some WD-40 on this thing. All right, so that's it. Three eighths mo. Did some mowing with the Ryobi as well for the the rough 
or first cut um, took care of those seat heads the seat heads are just brutal man I mean I'm looking out across the yard right now and I can still see ones that just fold over you know under the roller and and you don't get them and I even do I do like where it's essentially a double cut without doing it two separate ways um, I'll make a pass and then coming back I'll overlap half of that or about a third of that pass at least on every pass so you're essentially cutting it one one way and then back um, by the time you do everything and there's still seat heads <laughs> they just they uh, fold right under that roller and don't get cut but 3 8 mo PGR at a half rate so just to recap that full rate is a quarter of an ounce every thousand I have 4,500 square feet so basically you know an, an ounce or 1.25 ounces would really be kind of what I would need um, somewhere in between there I do it at a half rate so I put down a half ounce of uh, Permaxis MEC or mech I don't know if people pronounce it or say the, the letters but anyways um, a half ounce of that four gallons of water around the whole area and then I don't have to worry about like burning like I went over I ended up having a little bit of solution left um, maybe a, maybe a quart or something left um, and I went over the whole yard again just quickly with that what was left in that I, I missed like the last like 20 feet of the lawn so I was kind of you know at a quicker pace applying that whole, whole uh, or that quart that was left to everything I don't have to worry about like over applying in one spot and getting bronzing because I'm already doing a half rate so this being the first application I would definitely recommend you do a half rate um, for your first application of the season some people will do a half rate and then they'll ease into it their next time with a full rate to get a longer uh, regulation period but I just figure what the heck like it kind of gives you a little peace of mind I'm out here spraying every two weeks anyways um, for fertilizer and stuff and and even if I'm not spraying that to mix this up and spray it takes me 20 minutes maybe so you know you can just do it anytime you're kind of out in the lawn really um, so I'll keep an eye on it and see it just depends on the weather like the temperature um, and like I said there's a whole growing degree days calculation you can do to find out how many days you're going to get out of um, that one application but I just kind of since I'm already splitting it in half um, the half rate it just makes it easier you know one rate would normally last about three to four weeks so <clears throat> about every two and a half weeks you can go out and put another light application it really kind of falls into the whole methodology of spoon feeding everything um, your fertilizer your growth regulator your fungicide um, you know your iron splitting it up into into micro doses instead of one big dump um, so yeah that's it we're done for today anyways I appreciate the support on Instagram on YouTube um, you know keep liking subscribing commenting if you got questions about um, PGR put them in the comments message me on Instagram another thing I want to touch on a lot of people use Teenex or um, I think the other one is Primo Max and I use Permaxis because it comes in the small bottle it costs 60 bucks instead of like hundred and fifty or two hundred dollars or whatever the other others come in the huge jugs I know you get technically you know it's more cost-effective to buy the large jug but it's kind of ridiculous to keep a, a gallon for me in my opinion it's kind of ridiculous to keep two gallons of it stored when I will only use a half ounce every two weeks or every three weeks like that bottle that 16 ounce bottle is gonna last you know at least a season or two at the minimum so anyways yeah thanks for watching like subscribe um, thanks for the support six
uh, or five eighths of an ounce, really. But I'm not going to do that. Um, or an ounce and uh, what am I trying to say? An ounce and a quarter. Cut, 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 cut. 